Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's myself, Paul Neal, and joined by Gary Spain. We're here reacting to the breaking news that Damien Duff has stepped down as Republic of Ireland first team coach. Um, Gary, just before we begin, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Don't forget to head over to manscaped.com. Use the code IFFTV for all their products, basically. You can get a discount on their 20% off, free shipping. Check out the Lawnmower 3.0. They've just released that. It's one of their newest products, and it is released out in Ireland. Be one of the first people to use it in Ireland, and it comes with an LED light, so you can see those hairs that you may have missed. Uh, it also is waterproof. You can use it in the shower as well. Head over to manscaped.com. Don't forget to use the code IFFTV for 20% out and free shipping. Gary... Damien Duff, uh, the statement reads out, speaking to FAI.ie, Damien said, I want to thank Stephen Kenny for the opportunity he gave me to coach with the senior Ireland team, and I wish Stephen, Keith, and the players all the very best of luck for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers. Stephen Kenny says, Damien is an excellent coach, as he proved in his time with us, and his contribution to the Irish team was greatly appreci appreciated by myself my staff and the players and I wish them the very best of luck for the future this is an interesting one because they both came out and had this kind of say on it and there's been nothing really reported to now we were just doing a watch along and uh, just got told about the news there yeah it's it, it's it's a total shock Paul to me I mean I, I hadn't heard any rumours or anything um, so it is and it, so it totally hit me by surprise I mean, you do hear sometimes you hear stories and rumors that someone something uh, may be right or something someone may be moving. Uh, Damien Duff is going to be a massive loss to Stephen because, as he said himself, he's an excellent coach. He is a real student of the game. He's very much a modern coach and looking at the way football is evolving, how modern football has been played. I, I thought he was somebody that really was very much in tune with Stephen Kenny's mindset and the way they, they, they wanted to play the game. Damien had been really impressive at Shamrock Rovers, had gone to Celtic and done really well, and I thought it was a great coup. Um, so I don't know, I mean, where he's going or what's what's happening, or obviously it's just been sprung on me, but, I mean, my initial reactions, one is shock and uh, two is disappointment. I... As an Irish fan, I think we are losing a top quality coach and Damien Duff is going to be a big loss. Um, I, I, I would expect to see him involved at some stage in the future in our national team. It's not um, certainly goodbye forever or anything like that, but I think he's going to be a massive, massive loss for this World Cup qualifying campaign. And it, it's for me, it's bad news and it's a, it's a shock and a... Well, it's it's a bad day for us. Well, I think it's a bit it's a bit you know out of left field. It's just you know as we said, we were doing a watch along, and next minute you just get an email saying that he stepped down. There's no real you know it doesn't really it just says he's stepping down from his role as coach of Stephen Kenny's Republic of Ireland team. Um, it doesn't really other than the short little quote we gave. It doesn't really say much else. He had been coaching. I think he probably still will stay on with Shelburne, and they're underage. That's what he was coaching as. So you'd wonder, and you'd also wonder, you know, the fact that Celtic are struggling this year, is that down to him leaving? Yeah, it's it's hard to know. I mean, it's, um, yeah, I, I suppose I'm still, I'm still in a bit of a shock by this and uh, so am I, yeah. trying, to take, trying to take it in. But yeah, he's, um, look, I think he's made an impression and done really well wherever he's gone. And uh, I think Stephen's going to miss him. I think the players are going to miss him. And uh, I, I don't really know what else to say at this point and wh where he's going to end up. I'm sure he'll still be heavily involved in the game. And he'll. I think he'll be very much in demand because, I mean, not all great players go on to make great coaches, but I think Damien Duff is one of these players that will go on and he's already making a name for himself and I think he will go on to be uh, a top coach and, uh, well, i probably repeat myself again, but he's going to be a huge loss for us in this World Cup qualifying campaign. 
Well, do you think it might be something to do with maybe, you know, before obviously there was the, the outside influences with the, the England video and that type of stuff, and you could see he was visibly annoyed about that. I think he spoke on RT panel, it might have been a Champions League game, but it was definitely, might have been a Dundalk game maybe, but it was a European game in the RT studio, and he, he, he didn't seem happy whatsoever about what was said and, and about the, the video and stuff like that. He didn't seem happy at all. Do you think that may have been, you know, we don't know anything, but do you think I that don't, may have been a factor? I don't, I don't know, Paul. I mean, we could be speculating. It, it, it could be, it could be, it could be lots of things. I mean, nobody really knows at this point. I mean, it may be that he's got, he's got another offer and it may come out in the next couple of days that he's going to work with someone else. I would imagine he's someone who who will be in demand. I mean, he was somebody that Stephen chose and very much um, picked out to be to be a coach. So I, I I can't imagine there's been any sort of a, a falling out or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we could be speculating, but really, it's uh, I certainly wasn't aware of anything. I hadn't heard any rumors. I hadn't heard any whispers. I hadn't heard anything at all. And it's uh, it's a big shock. And you can only Look, there's so many things it could be, but I, I, I think speculation at this stage is is a bit, bit futile. But um, maybe things will become clearer in the next couple of days. But um, it's uh, well, it's uh, it's bad news, and uh, and I suppose the obvious thing that's going to come up now is, uh, will will Stephen turn to Robbie Keane. I mean, that that would solve a problem for the FEI maybe that he's still in the payroll, but um Stephen didn't seem to to want to get Robbie Keane involved earlier on. So I don't know if that's going to be different now. But um he Damien Duffy's gonna leave a hole in the coaching team because for me he's somebody who struck me as being a, a real student of the modern game and somebody who knows how to coach and really get the best out of players and we're going to miss him. Yeah, no, I would agree. But it's it just, for me, it's just so out of the blue. Like, you, it was just not something you were really expecting unless maybe Celtic have come back in with a better offer for him or, or somebody like that where he can go and be the main man somewhere even. Who knows? But it, it, is a, it is a big shock and he's going to be a big loss. So there's not much else we can really say about it till we hear a little bit more or something comes out over the next coming days. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to follow us, you can see our social media handles underneath. Don't forget to check out manscaped.com. Use the code IFFTV for 20% off and free shipping. We'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching and take care.